So I got this Simonson toolbox at a estate auction. It came with some stuff in it. It was an old empty Briggs and Stratton parts box. Kind of nice, but a little little beat up. Some hammers. I'm not exactly sure what this hammer would be for. It's for chipping rocks or whatnot. That's a ball peen. I have about a dozen in this size already, so yay. It is in good shape, though. And this one I was actually kind of excited to get. It's a tack driving hammer, and one end has a magnet in it to hold the head of the nail so you can uh, start it without having to hold it, which is super handy. Because holding tacks with needle nose pliers while you drive them is kind of annoying. All the latches work really well and it closes up nice. A couple of dents, but nothing a light straightening and cleaning won't, won't take care of. Vacuum it out. Then I hand wipe it for what feels like three hours. Um, some of the more stubborn areas I use this degreaser. It does a good job, but I, I don't want to use it too much. What I generally use is WD-40 to degrease. And then I'll use this rust check after I'm done degreasing. And it will form a barrier layer to protect and prevent any further rust. Lots and lots of hand wiping. I want to try and preserve as much of the original paint as possible. And also protect it so it doesn't get any worse. That's where the rust check really comes in. The patina on this box is amazing. I'm unsure exactly of what year this would have been made, but I know it's old. But it's got this almost like futuristic old vibe, like Fallout or, you know, the video game. This would be right at home in like a post-apocalyptic uh, radiation-filled wasteland. wiping it down with a little bit more WD-40. I find WD-40 works really good for degreasing. It's got a solvent in it. And then when I go over it with uh, this rust check, it forms almost like a, a dry to the touch barrier layer after you let it dry. It protects all the bare metal. point is not to restore this, but to kind of just time capsule it. I'd like to have this thing for another 50 years and have it stay looking the same. I don't know. If you know what year this Simonson toolbox would have been made, please leave it in the comments and that would be awesome. Still hand wiping.
the goal would be to wipe until your towel doesn't come away dirty anymore. Straighten out a bit of a dent that was preventing the doors from closing properly. This is such a fantastic toolbox. Go over it with a good dry rag. It's coming clean. But look at that patina, it's just amazing. So that's like quadruple lot steel wool just to kind of polish the bare metal items like the latches and the handle makes it look pretty snazzy Just got to measure up for some new uh, rubbers. Just going to cut some mat to put down. Keep the tools from bouncing around. This is just black toolbox liner. Pretty standard stuff. In a pinch I've used drawer liner almost the same stuff. This is a little bit thicker. Luckily it was already at the right, uh, the width of the roll was the same as the length of the area. So that went pretty easily. The base I had to cut out of the bigger piece, but that went pretty quick. I did a double layer in the base because I'm going to put hammers and stuff down there and figured a little extra cushion would be nice. It's got room for everything, including an anvil. If you like this type of content, please uh, comment, subscribe, like, share, and thank you for watching.